Hello, welcome back. You may be saying, right, and in fact I can hear now a specific voice calling me. I just bumped my microphone cord there, I'm so sorry. I talk with my hands, all right, you understand. Um, you may be saying, full on, what happened to the concert, dude? Why are we back in the friggin' spider forest? What are you doing? Well, we're here because I missed something, right? I missed something and I was so graciously informed of it and I'm not gonna lie, I spent the past like 15, 20 minutes or so just wandering around this area being like, what on earth did I miss, dude? There's nothing here. And I come here to this area again, and I'm like, bruh, I swear there's nothing. However, hear me out, right? If you if you walk right up here, and then you interact, oh, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, brother. So what's going on down here? Let's just take a, take a little peek through the, oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> Oh no! So I'm not gonna lie, literally what I did when I finally found this, I got exactly right here as soon as I went through and I backed out and I started recording. So this is all fresh, I swear to god. Um, I'm very concerned with the uh, horrible shadow version of Wilt from Foster's Home from Imaginary Friends, if anyone is, uh, remembers that. As long as he squeaks when he walks, I'm pretty chill with that. Carrying a lantern? Yo, dude, you cool? Like, what if I... Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? What happens if I try to save? You gonna kill me? You gonna attack me during my save? No? Can I talk to you? Daddy Long Legs! Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Alright. You got anything else? Nope. Okay. I mean, thank you, Daddy Longlegs. You were very cordial. I was terrified of you at first, but I'm glad I, I took the time to interact with you. There is so much here. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna work in like a clockwise route, starting here. Um, Alright, I already see how this is going. We're, uh, we're a Kokiri forest in Ocarina of Time. Understood. I'm gonna have to just go through the puzzles, so... Um, I'm not good at puzzles, but I'm not the worst, so I, I promise you I'll be able to get through this eventually. Just give me give me some time. All right, good start. Got it. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. It's true. I, I suppose. And let me guess, it's just gonna... Yeah, which path you wanna go? I wanna fight you, Dark Bunny Lords. Never mind, I'm terrified of you. Ghost Bunnies, please become slain. Ooh, I could try out Lucky Slice. It only works when he's happy, though. So let's just do, like, normal attacks. And if we get a blow, I might farm some bread here, actually. That could be pretty good. Bruh, you eat my juice? You gobble my juice, though? That's not cool. Dude, we do some damage, though. Hello? Oh my god, now Hero's faster than Aubrey. Feels bad. Alright, so we we can't all just attack. So what if... Mm, I'm gonna take a hit anyway. So hear me out, Aubrey. Can I just have you, like, chill for a moment? Um... What if you like pep talk Omori or something? I don't know. Just give that a give that a whirl. Cause I, I wanna get some bread. I wanna get some free bread, my dude. Bread's pretty good. Uh, well, if Kel's gonna be critting, we're probably not gonna be getting that bread. Get that dub, the toast as it is. Yo, what a cheer, thank you. Very much appreciated. I would like to go for a bread slice and everyone else can just hang out? Um. Aubrey is slower, so she can just attack. Kel, I don't know. What if you, like, annoyed Aubrey? Yeah. Like, annoy... No, 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 no. Annoy the bunny, because happy beats angry. So just, I'm pretty sure the bread slice will kill it. But you never know. And Hero, you can attack. You're slower than, than uh, my main man, Amori. Get annoyed. Become infuriated. And then become bread. Thank you for the bread, Itadakimasu. And Omori's party was victorious. Ooh, Kel leveled up. 
do want to go ahead and also say, it's, it's, look, it's summer. It be hot out. All right. Fans going a little higher than normal. If, if you hear that, I apologize. It's not your tinnitus. It's my fan. If you have tinnitus. If you have tinnitus, I'm sorry. Tinnitus sucks. I have like a very mild case in one ear and it's annoying, but it's not like crippling. But I've talked to some people that have had way worse versions and boy, does that sound horrible. Oh, thank God. It doesn't spit me right back at the very beginning. I was very concerned that it would. All right. Well, this is whatever then. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting my mental map going. Trying to lose yourself, or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here, to finish the job. Daddy Longlegs, are you gonna fight me at some point? That was a very ominous statement. Oh, it's sad. It's a sad ghost bunny. Well, I'm sorry, but you gotta go, brother. And if you live this onslaught, then you will become bread. You will be nourishment for myself later on. Or my friends, I don't know. I'm not selfish enough to hog all the bread myself. Unless I am, you don't know me. Look, I do like bread. Bread's good, what do you want from me? Well, I gotta be weird about it. Now here's the thing. Um, I do not believe that this will kill. So, Kel's gonna normal attack, just in case, to, to weaken him up. You know, soften him up. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Farming the bread, baby. You turn juice into bread, it's just that easy. Honestly, it's just that easy, dude. What else we got going on here? Anything else in here, or is it just a bunch of paths? Like just, oh, no, nope, that's just the, the flowers sparkling over here. I thought it was an item. But then for, items are in watermelons. I don't know why I thought they were sparklies now. Oh, did I go the correct way again? Usually we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. Excuse me. Um, you're freaking me out, Daddy Longlegs, please? I'm very scared. It is a happy ghost bunny. Dude, stop taking all my juice. All right, this is messed up. It's not cool. I got this juice for my friends, all right? You're not allowed any of the Capri Sun. Stop trying to rob it. Why you gotta be such a narc, all right? This is why you're not invited to my house party. You're gonna gobble up all the freaking juice before anyone else can get any. It's not cool, dude. I bet it's north. I'm feeling north, straight north, dead north, not north. Damn. Damn. How about this way? Nope. Sometimes it's the last path. <laughs> That's why I don't gamble, baby. You're still here. You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. I didn't like those sounds. Um, can we not? I had to actually, like, interact with that bunny to fight it. Every other one I just walk into, and it's fine, but I had to actually, like, press Z on him for him, for this combat to initiate. Oh, now I'm just killing him, man. Now I'm just slaughtering him for XP. This doesn't feel good. I don't want to just, you know, ruthlessly murder things, but I gotta get stronger, you understand? I need your power so that I can fight sprout mole centipedes later or something. I don't know. There's scary shit out there, dude. There was a boy wandering around here before. Very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. So this is interesting to me because that means that based on what Daddy Longlegs here is saying, Basil actually is like around. I assume he bamped out of our like mind palace or wherever we are. Our persona, our persona five uh, 
Oh, it's actually called a palace in that, yeah. Your, your, your own little realm. I thought he just, like, got yeeted out of existence. But no, he's still here. He's just going around. So maybe this isn't just Omori's, like, cognitive realm? Because it seems like Basil has control himself to some degree, right? Like, free will is more what I'm looking for. Which is strange. I've seen lost, and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you are hiding away from the right way. Bruh, I'm trying, but I'm also farming your dialogue, so oh my god, there's so many of them. Alright, well, just uh, get them. All they're gonna do is gobble your juice, who cares? Most of the time they just float in place, poor things. No! At least fight back! I feel bad. Earlier I was like, how dare you gobble my juice, you weirdo. I need that, and now I'm like, please do something so I don't feel like I'm just... <laughs> I'm just, like, executing these poor ghost bunnies. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, they're at least fighting back a little. Mm. Excuse me, how come you only hit Kel for 9 juice, but Aubrey for 18? This is messed up. It's a percentage-based system, not a raw attack value. Therefore, you are punished heavily for having more juice, and if you had less, it's not okay. It's not cool. Not not everyone, you know. I understand that not everyone can have a lot of juice, but just because I have a lot of juice doesn't mean I need to give up a lot of juice. Right? I earned that juice. Get out of here. I don't want to go down this path anymore. It's, uh, it's a little scary. <laughs> little, little, ugh. Everybody level up. Power hit! Now we're talking. Yo, we gotta see what power hit is, though. Dear Aubrey, what is power hit, and why do I need it? Ignores foe's defense, and then reduces it? Done. Done. Counter? Gone. Dead to me. Honestly. What even is counter? All my homies hate counter. Power hit? That's my speed. Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's most certainly not the right way? Just in case there's anything, you know? I gotta see if there's anything at the end of the path, my dude, and I'm farming your ghost bunnies. All they're doing is making me tired, whatever. It's not like I die when I run out of juice. Who cares? Who even freaking cares? The ghost bunnies are super fast though, and that's a little intimidating. Because what if when you run out of juice, they're like, get hit for all your health? Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. That'd be not good. That'd be pretty not kosher. I wouldn't stand for that. I don't know, I guess... I'm assuming to exit the Lost Woods, I'm just gonna have to go backwards. Right, like, when I, when I go into a new map, if I just go down, right, and immediately leave. I assume that's what will take me out of here. But, um... I don't know, like, until the, uh, oh my god, a crit for a hundred, Aubrey. Jesus, girl. Until the dialogue, as long as the dialogue keeps me new, I'm gonna keep going, man. As long as you got stuff to say to me, Daddy Longlegs, I got reason to be here. Because you might give me some cool revelation. I may get eldritch knowledge from you or something, that's pretty hype. Become slain. 900 XP, baby. Kel didn't get anything for level 14, that's okay. It's fine. Not everyone can get everything when you level up, you know. There's an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that. Like this forest. Lost. Oh shoot, he says new things! I'm messed- I- I messed up. This journey is too arduous for those faint of heart. Do you wish to leave, children? I will not blame you. No, I do not want to leave. I refuse to leave, even. I don't know if I want to fight more bunnies, though. I feel like it's a trap. Like, there's going to be something nasty at the end. Sometimes, when we hide things from ourselves, we create different truths and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet? Or are you still lost? This is very interesting to me. 
This is super interesting to me because... He's talking about, like, coping mechanisms, right? How, like, if you don't want to accept something, and you, you, you can't, right? So, for example, in, like, the video game terms, like, Amori, he can't handle Mari's dead. So he spins a different outcome, right? And Mar- he can't handle that Mari's dead. I think I said he can't handle that Amori's dead. Maybe that's the case, I don't know, that'd be wild. Um, but he can't handle Mari's death, right? We'll go with that. And so here in this, like, my, my mind palace, you know, Mari's still alive, but she just magically is everywhere, and we don't worry about that, you know? And I guess Basil figured that out, and he's looking for a way to cope with that. What, he, what Daddy Longlegs is saying, I suppose, is that, you know, you can... It's about lying to yourself, right? Like, oh, that didn't happen, here's what actually happened, or something, or here's the real thing. Mari didn't die, she just went away to Alaska. I don't know, I just chose a random place. I, I have no idea, but... This tells me, because it's very pointed, right? He's literally asking, have you found yours yet, or are you still lost? He is asking us, are we still doing this? So clearly, I am hiding from the truth. I am running from it in one way, shape, or form. I don't know how yet. And, it, and I think that's to kind of like, quote unquote, explain away how we as the player, without witnessing Mari's accident, we know about it now through context clues. But it's so that we don't have to actually see it, and we can have this, like, kind of discovery period, right? Um, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna keep going down your path, Mr. Daddy Longlegs, until something stops me. Forget all you will, or try to. Darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. Hide the inhabitable behind ignorance and watch your lie fall. Okay, all right, never mind. We're not lying to ourselves. We just blacked it out. <laughs> Got it now. Understood. We have just completely erased that. We were just like, nah, I can't handle these thoughts. I can't handle these memories of what happened. So they're gone. See ya. Bye bye later. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm guessing the what, where this game is going to go forward, and these this is all conjecture, right? I could be very wrong. I probably am very wrong. But what I'm what I'm assuming is that going forward, this is going to be about discovery of learning to like kind of cope with what happened, right? Because Amori is he lived in he'd stayed in his house for what four years or something. What Aubrey said, like never left, just hung out in there for four entire years like at some point it's sad to say but you, you gotta face reality right so this is this is kind of that journey i suppose and trying trying to cope i've said it before i'll say it again i'll repeat it i'll do it watch me you can't stop me now i went i went right a couple of times let's go left i bet it's left this time i think this time now i've gotten it too many times in a row now it's just whichever path you choose is the right one i bet the darkness surrounds you, and it is a terrible thing, but your truth has guided you. How much longer can you keep it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh shoot, it, I was just getting it super right. Never mind, never mind. Bruh. Sometimes you just gotta take, uh, every path. Is there ever an end? <laughs> Darkness surrounds you and it's a terrible thing. Okay. Is there ever an end to this, though? Or do I just stay here forever? Darkness surrounds you, yep, okay. Hmm. I wonder, is this just, like, an actual puzzle that I need to figure out how to progress forward? Because this dialogue isn't changing anymore, so I think I went to the right last time, so what if I go hard left? Anything new? No. But also now he isn't- well, I haven't talked to him twice. I, I assume he'll still offer- I should talk to him every time, just in case. He'll yeet me back at some point, I suppose. 
Everything surrounds you, it's a terrible thing. Yep, yep, yep. Classic. I understand. Thank you very much, Daddy Long Legs. I appreciate you and everything that you do. And everything that you have done and everything that you will continue to do, honestly. Alright, so it's always that way. So I'm guessing I'm messing up here. And it's putting me back a map, I suppose? So let me guess, if I go this way now... Yep. No! This is... It's different? No, this is not different. I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid. Yep. The, the darkness inside your court, Sora. Hey, There we go! We got there. I would like to talk with Daddy Longlegs first. Okay, same thing. I appreciate you. You picked up a pearl! Seems like an important item. What's a pearl do? What's well, not? Is it a toy? Poetry book present air horn a pearl. Oh, can be sold for clams. Okay. I mean Bunny's nice, I guess. I'm more intrigued by everything Daddy Longlegs said than just cash. It's kinda lame. Oh, there's also paths here. Well, dude, hear me out. I'm gonna go down. This is the weird way. Shoot, should not have gone down. The darkness surrounds you, I'm very aware. Thank you very much, though. All right, so I think that sent me back. I should not have gone down. I got a little too, too heady with it. So it should be this way, right? Yeah, and now I'm back at the dock. Perfect, 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 perfect. Sorry for the looping there. I apologize, I'm trying to figure it out. All right, well, that wasn't correct either. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I refuse to believe that that's all there. There's just a pearl. No, you freaking ghost bunnies. Get out of here. I didn't want to fight you. I'm taking all my juice, you weirdos. I just want to see what's at the end of the Lost Forest, my guy. Why are you going to be like this? Oh, dunk on her, dude. Or him. Her. Them. They. I don't know. I'm not going to assume your pronouns, Ghost Bunny. I'm better than that, I think. I, I assume many pronouns. I'm very sorry. If you ha if you do not go by, by, uh, by certain pronouns, I apologize. I got nothing against it, right? But, you know. I, I do tend to... I'm bad about not being like, yo, what do you want to be called? I don't know, it's just not ingrained with me. I've got nothing against it if someone is like, hey, I prefer this, and you know, who cares, right? Like, I'll call you what you want to be called. It doesn't affect me in any way, shape, form, or fashion. However, um, I don't know. I haven't internalized, like, being the one to initiate that, I just tend to assume, which is not good. Is that really all that's here? That just seems wrong. I don't know. Are there any other, like, ways through... I think I tried going up there, right? Excuse me, Ghost Bunny, I would like for you to leave so that I may go this way. No, no, Ghost I think I blocked him. Yeah, yeah, come down. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Pardon me, Mr. Ghost Bunny. The darkness is indeed a terrible thing. I agree. Alright, so it's through the woods last time. And we're back here. All right, now we're, this is more what I was expecting the whole thing would be like, right? But I believe in myself. It's just trial and error, and eventually you'll get it. And by you, I mean me. Or even if you're doing this right now, you'll get it eventually too. I believe in you. Don't think for a moment that I don't believe in you, because I do. Is it this way? Nope. Neerom, don't mind me, Mr. Ghost Bunnies or Mrs. I did the thing again that I talked about. You said you'd be better, Folon, and then you weren't. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Ooh, a little spicy take there. Don't mind me. So about just dead right. Nope. So it looks like you have to go down around the bend, down and around, down round, and we're going around. Cause sugar, we go down the bend. I don't know the rest of the song. It would be really funny if I got copyright claimed for this. <laughs> Hello. Darkness does indeed surround me. All right, well, hear me out. Left. Yeah, let's go. I keep, I, I'm assuming, you know, 
he's done with dialogue, but you never know. You gotta try anyway. It looks like I can go up here. Can I go up here? No, that is incorrect. Well, I'm just gonna go the one way that I can then. Oh. Oh, I'm not moving anymore. Hello, Mr. Longlegs. Is this where you now attempt to murder me? You have reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. This is going to be super interesting to me. This is what I want to know. Where are we? What is this? You know, like it's something, clearly. In the beginning, there existed two, or there only existed two. The dreamer and his room. The dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. Dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind. Whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then, he compounded his worlds above the Dark Realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils, his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer has lived amongst us simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you. As with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound. There will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. 
Yet, the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Uh, excuse you. Uh, don't walk into the fire, dude. That's not cool. Okay, goodbye. I suppose. What a metal exit. <laughs> like, bruh. Absolute chat energy, and there's the H key. Thank you for the H key. So that was a lot to unpack. Um, my, I feel like my, my, uh, my conjecture, right? My guess that we've we have forgotten the event. This supports that theory. What is interesting to me is that. It seems like he is he is alluding to the fact that this world that I'm in right now, it's like a make-believe world, right? It's like I'm living in my own mind and I'm pretending, almost, you know? I'm, I'm imagining, I guess. And I'm assuming the darkness that he's talking about is like this these, these horrible feelings of, I don't know, is it guilt, maybe, or something? I don't know enough to presume. It has to tie with Mari's death in some way or another. Like, I, I refuse to believe that it, it doesn't have anything to do with that. Whether it was caused by it or not, or it just spurred out because of it, I don't know. But Mari's death is what has is tied to this dark world. And basically, his goal was to suppress it, right? He's Like I said, he, he doesn't want to think about it. So he's like, yo, I'm not dealing with this. I'm just going to shove it super far down in my brain. Just gonna really cram it down in there, and I'm gonna play make believe in my own head to just forget and you know pretend it never happened and nothing happened. What is it? And he, it seems like Amori completely erased his entire self. Like he went way farther. It's not just suppressing his particular memories. Like he has just gone full blank, just all all thoughts out the window, all of it gone, which is crazy to me. Like full on, like straight amnesia, which is kind of wild. Whoa. Uh, I saw you in the top right up there, you horrible, scary being. Leave me alone. I have no desire to interact with you. I can't interact with the fire? No. So let's, what's going on with the crossword now? Okay. Got another letter that I actually needed. So I've missed beneath a trap door. So I need to look out for a trap door. So this is in a lost pyre's flame. So I need to look out for that one. I'll try to remember that. Beneath a trap door. I'm hoping at some point I'll get a bunch of time to just, like, explore this area. Because that would be super cool. Man, that was that was a lot. Um, <laughs> I thought I had missed, like, a fun little, like, oh, he missed a little secret or something. Nah, that was big plot. Like, holy hell. Excuse you. Excuse you. Do not, do not grab me. Even though technically if you grab me, it would be quicker to get out of here. But I don't, I don't speak with cat spiders. All right, you're not my homie. You're not my pal. We're not friends. Leave me alone forever. Goodbye. I will never see you again unless I need to come back to this area for some way, shape, form, or fashion or reason. But I hope that's not the case. Cause see ya. I'm out. Hey, can you not, bro? He's camping my spawn. I can block him with my party members. It's kind of funny. All right. Well, you must die now, hero, bro. I understand you're afraid of spiders. I get it, but I thought we—I thought we went over this. Just attack again, whatever. Just send it. Get him. End him. Be slain with Aubrey's slap. You yeah, get out of here. You don't—you don't even stand a chance. So I'm starting to notice now. The more that I've done some combat here, um, I think bread slice is not good. I think, I think getting the bread is awesome, but the problem is Amori is faster than everyone but Kel. So like, it's really hard to set it up. I would like to have some refreshing tofu though, while I am here. I would indeed like to eat some, thank you very much. Munch, munch, munch. And I will now be on my way. Thank you again, Mari, I appreciate you. Want you to be aware of this. Uh, gotta slither on through the dead sprout mole centipede layer. Classic. But now, now is the fabled, the faded, the long-awaited even. 
saving time. <laughs> Just kidding, got you. You thought I was gonna end the episode. It's only been 34 minutes. I'm not gonna do that to you, that's just rude. We're gonna go to the concert now. And we're, we're gonna actually see what's going on here. I got some water nearby, I feel like I'm gonna need it. Yo. Dude, we really did get some pretty good seats. Can't talk to these guys? Sweetheart, she's a goddess walking amongst us. We are so blessed. All right, dude, chill. Sweetheart, sweetheart, she's the only one for me. That's all you got, that's your whole personality. Sweetheart is perfect, she makes no mistakes. My love for sweetheart knows no bounds. It's not alive, it's dead. That's terrifying. Are these all... Yay, sweetheart! <laughs> yeah, okay, so I... I don't know. What if there is, like, a unique one, though? You never know. You never know. I don't... I'm sorry. I don't have the patience to go through all of these. I apologize. Wow, look at this huge stage! It's just as amazing as I imagined! Let's take our seats! It looks like the show is about to start! All right. Are you ready to take your front row seats? No, not yet. Can I just go on the stage? Nope, it won't let me. <laughs> it's like, hello, I'm the performer now. All right, I am indeed ready to take my front row seats. Oh, we got spotlights. <laughs> oh, really, really closing in the letterboxing. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprout. No, I killed him! <laughs> oh no, he was just chilling and we murdered him. <laughs> oh. He truly was the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. May he rest in peace. All, all our party members are looking at each other like, ooh, yeah, you explode in your collar. And now, on to the show! Oh my god, this is, this is intense. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now! Oh my god, is it gonna be us? No, okay, that would've been so funny. Contestant number one is a local of Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a, a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one! <laughs> contestant number two is, yep, you guessed it, also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two. And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. 
Give it up for Snaily! <laughs> what? What is, what is- No, come on! Let's go, Snaily! Let's go! And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please! She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulchritudinous face. I don't know that word. Oh, yikes, I'm reading a script. I'm a teleprompter loser. Woo! Yes! You know who we're talking about! She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot upon this very stage. Please, give a big warm welcome to... The one, the only, the magnificent, sweetheart... Holy shit! <laughs> Where'd the lightning bolt come? No, Snaily! Oh my god, he died! Snaily, no! <laughs> oh my god, Snaily! I feel so bad! I barely knew him, but he just died in front of our eyes! <laughs> no! Oh no, there's a blackout! Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next! Let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get the power back on in no time. Help! We don't know what to do! Help! We don't know what to do either! Help! 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 <laughs> Help! Well... Maybe we should look around, just in case. <laughs> you know, at least they're honest. Can I just go on stage now that it's a blackout? Nope, they just scream help. Alright, you guys say anything new? Doesn't look like it. Just continue doing your thing. So I can't go through either of these. Interesting. Do I just actually leave? Wow, I guess the blackout affected all of Sprout Mole Village, too. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for... some kind of backup generator. Hero, you're also a handyman? Bruh, how is this guy such a catch? How is he- how is he this good? Ladies! You gotta grab him while he's available, because it's not gonna be around for long, let me tell ya. Or men, I don't know. Anyone. Ladies or men, I, I, I'm not gonna judge. Working on a revolutionary technology that will change all life in the colony. Nay, the world! Hey, that's good for you, Mayor Sproutmole. You got a pretty radical lava lamp there? Um... Okay. You know what? Sure. Do it. What do you think I am, scared? As if. I don't even know the meaning of the word fear. King Carnivore. Alright, well, we take out the root first. Um, here's the thing, right? I would like to give... Hmm. I would like to give Omori a pep talk. And I would like for Kel to annoy Aubrey. No, 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 no. Aubrey is gonna use the follow-up attack to get angry herself. No, she can if she gives the, the pep talk, so yeah, we have to annoy. That's fine. That's fine. This is a buffing turn. Turn to buff, and then we'll also just attack the root with hero. Oh, well, this made everyone happy anyway. Whatever. <laughs> Got him. Kinda, kinda wasted my time with the, uh... The, the pep talk here. Oh no, you can do- Oh my god, he's so ecstatic, Jesus. Oh, this is terrifying. Um, do I get any bonuses to Lucky Slice if I'm ecstatic? Oh my god, the root is so tough. Wow, that's kind of wild. Um, should I be focusing on King Carnivore then? I don't know. We'll go one hit on King Carnivore and see what happens. And by one hit, I mean two, with the Lucky Slice and the Headbutt and a Run and Gun. And by two, I mean three. And Hero, I would like for you to also just normal attack. 64, not bad. Okay, we're doing some damage. Everyone's happy. No, my head. Oh, Manic. 
Um, Amori? You, you Gucci fam? I'm not, I don't like where this is going. Okay, so he recovers health from the roots. Got it. Yeah, I mean, we did like nothing there. Um, I feel like I don't want to be manic. <laughs> this seems like a poor, <laughs> a poor situation. Um, hear me out, get Lucky Sliced. I would like for Aubrey to... Um, hmm. No, I don't want to make people more happy. You know what, give him a power hit. Reduce his defense. Kel, I need you to annoy me. <laughs> so I'm not manic anymore. Um, you don't have any- dang it, I took away all your ways to affect mood. It's not good. Uh, da, 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 da. Boost their speeds, inflict happy. So, happy beats angry. I could just make him angry and go absolutely ham. And I think I will. Become angry? Yikes. All right, all right, we're good now. Oh my God, he hits so hard. Can you not? Ooh, all right, now we're now we're slapping. Now we're getting them. Yeah, whatever. Who even cares? Okay, well he gets to do it twice. That's yeah. All right, the roots gotta go. The roots gotta go. Like, yeah, he's we gotta we gotta take out the roots. Understood. Got it. Um, unfortunately, I have made him angry anyway. Um, give him a mock, just to reduce his attack as well. Aubrey, I would like for you to power hit this root while you're at it. Kel, I would like for you to flex. And Hero, you need to keep yourself alive, so please cook for yourself so that you may live. Let's go, Kel. He roars. Okay, that's fine. He didn't do anything. Who even cares? Become mocked, get less defense, idiot. Got him. And by defense, I mean attack. Same thing. This is debuff team. Don't worry about it. Hey, stop that. That's rude. That's not cool. Um, well, I don't really want to do any of these. I don't have anything that's good if I'm angry. I just didn't want to be manic. <laughs> it seemed very bad. Um, just normal attack the root, I suppose. Aubrey, I would like for you to just normal attack the root as well. Kel, you're gonna do a run and gun here. And I would like for you, Hero, to cook for Amori, because he is about to die. 255, huh? Oh God. Okay, so no one else can get manic. They can only go to ecstatic. That's good. That's good to know. Which that should be fun. I think I'm gonna save up for just an ult to just blast him out of the park kind of where I'm what I'm feeling here I think I'm doing all right how's this root looking we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely so I would like to do a lucky slice upon this root Aubrey you can just do a normal attack Kel just do a normal attack as well hero hero I would like for you to charm I think because you've got the most health and defense so if you're taking the hits, that's pretty good. And you don't really do it. Oh, you can only charm one person. You know, in that case, just get get some damage out. Whatever. Okay, okay. Everyone feels happy. Yep. God, I'm Amori, you're freaking me out, dude. Like this is, that face is terrifying. I'm sorry. I know you're just real, real ecstatic, but it's 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 very very <laughs> scary. <laughs> Uh, as long as he doesn't get manic again. Ooh. Heavy yikes. Yeah, just like keep normal attacking, whatever. We're fine. We're not in manic state yet, so who cares? Get crit? Loser? What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, whatever. Oh no, half my health? Whatever. Get crit again. God, hero, you just. You do not hit very hard. But that's okay, you have other talents. You don't need to hit hard to be useful. You know, you can you can be, you play support, right? Okay. 
Um, we really need this root dead, like now. I don't think I'll die from anything. 40% to everyone. Hmm. I think I would rather just normal cook for Omori. And then we'll normal cook for Aubrey next turn. I don't feel like anyone's gonna die this turn. Yeah, see, we're fine. It didn't even go for anyone who was already hurting, so whatever. Whiffed, my dude. You can't be doing that, bruh. You can't be doing that. Good, I like to see roots wiggle. I don't like to see them absorb nutrients and get their health back. It's not cool. So we should have our ultimate attack to release energy and slay our foes. I would like to do that. First, I would like to cook for Aubrey. Oh my god, Kel, you all right? You all right, my dude? I would like to release energy and slay you, ideally. That'd be pretty cool. I just cannot stand the, like, happy... Or not, not stand, I can't get over the, like, oh, we're so happy and we do our little jump pose. <laughs> Mori's got the fucking knife, man. It gets me every time. Alright, that was good. We got one root out of the way. I really didn't want to be attacking him. I want to get the other root out of the way as well. I mean, we still net damage there, so whatever. Um, King Carnivore is not looking too good. But the root's just going to keep healing him. We got to get the roots out of here, man. All my homies hate roots. Uh, Kel, I'm afraid you might die, so go ahead and eat a slice of bread since you're very quick. And you can cook for yourself, Hero. Because I'm afraid that, you know, because Hero doesn't go before the enemies, I believe. Alright, it would have been fine anyway, because all he did was roar. But if he had slapped Kel, then Kel would have just died there, and there was nothing we could do about it. Yeah, that's fine. 28 damage, whatever. Get out of here. I didn't even get out of bed for 28 damage. Um, actually, Kel, I want you to flex. I want you to donk next turn. Nobody needs to be healed this turn, so I think we're Gucci. Let's go, let's go. Miss, my dude, you can't be doing that. 103, it was a dull attack at 103. Are you insane? <laughs> I'm sorry, am I taking crazy pills here? Dull attack, huh? Well, um, unfortunately, Hero might... He could use fast food, but it's so inefficient, and that'll be like the last thing he can do. I'd rather just have like Amori use bread, I think? Is that what I want? No, we really need to get these roots out of here. Aubrey, you need to slap the root. Kel, you flex next last turn, so I'm gonna have you use the root. I guess, yeah, I guess you're gonna use fast food to keep yourself alive, my guy. It sucks, but it, it is what it is, man. Sometimes it just be that way though. Yeah, we needed that. Like that was some that was some good damage. And then all our normal attacks go on King Carnivore and he can't heal anymore. Get out of here. Uh please stop making me manic. I really do not appreciate it. I'm afraid I'm gonna like die if I go one step above manic or something. It looks very concerning. Um probably gonna have Kel annoy me, just so I'm not manic anymore. Cause I I'm very terrified. I don't, I don't want to be manic. It's very scary. And then we're just normal happy again. It's fine, it's fine, everything worked out. See? And now we just crit him down, because we have the, the type advantage. Get dunked on, by the way. Get absolutely dunked on. And yeah, just, just wail on him. What's he gonna do? What are you gonna do, King, King Carnivore? Please stop. I don't like how he makes everyone happy. That's just like a very creepy thing to me. I don't know. It's very strange. Dear Aubrey, please slay this man. I want him so dead. Oh, he's so dead. Aubrey, you know what? Give him the... Give him the, the power hit again. Let's go. Let's just freaking send him to the Shadow Realm. Become highly slain. Bruh, you killed Hero! No! <laughs> Miss, you can't be doing that, Aubrey. You can't be doing that. 
Um, hear me out. This is gonna seem weird. I would like to use a life jam upon Hero very early so that he gets the XP for this fight. <laughs> is really the game plan there. You know what? Attack again. Just do it again. Oh, he's dead anyway. Become slain. Yeah, see, I would like Hero to get the 13,000 XP. Trick. Mood Wrecker. Oh, what a, what a name. Homemade Jam. Is that a revive? Yo, Hero, my dude. My man. We gotta look at all these new skills. Alright, so what does Trick do? Deals damage if the foe is happily greatly reduces its speed. Hear me out. Hear me out though, bread slice. You had a good you had a good run. I really love these like debuff if there are certain mood attacks. Like I love mock. Because if some enemies whole jam is that they're super angry, then I could just dunk on them, right? So if I find someone who's like always happy, or their whole thing is becoming happy, then I have like a it's like a pseudo counter. And that's why I also like stab, is because if someone wants to make me sad, then it, it, it buffs me, right? So, what does Mood Wrecker do? Swing that doesn't miss does extra damage to Happy. All right, um... I think I don't need... I don't know if I need Twirl, because I could just have her pep talk herself. This does the job, right? But again, like I, like I just said, I really, really like attacks like Mood Wrecker, Mock, etc. What does Ricochet do? Deal damage to a foe three times. Now that seems pretty good. Uh, make a foe feel a random emotion. Deal extra damage to foes with emotion. It's also interesting. My problem with Ricochet is it costs 30, which is a lot. But it is three attacks, but I'm afraid it's gonna be like a... Uh, like the move Amori has, hack away, where it's like three attacks, but they all do like 20 damage, you know? Like, it, it, I'm not I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. I like Flex's kit. It, Flex's kit, oh my god. Kel's kit. I like what he's got going on so far. Now, hear me out. Bring a friend that is... Brings back a friend that is toast. Yeah, I like that. Um... I don't know if I need snack time in battle. I could see when I could. Charm I haven't used much, so sure. Just have Hero go full healer, whatever. Who cares? If I hate it and it ends up being bad, I'll switch it back. Give me all your orange juice and your combo meals and your life jam. I'm realizing now this is not where I needed to go. I murdered that plant for not story purposes. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Do not mind me, just climbing the ladders. I would like to consume some tomatoes because I'm very hurt. I'm very, very hurt. I'm in a lot of pain. And anyway, that's what I'm going to call the episode. I know, I know, you may have been expecting the whole Sweetheart concert, but I'm really glad I did that stump bit. I think it, it, it enlightened a lot. As always. There's a link in the description if you want to pick the game up yourself, play it through. Now you might know, maybe maybe you already played it through and you didn't see that stump in. You could go do it yourself if you want. I don't know if there's anything that I particularly miss. I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you want to just experience it yourself, boom, you can. Boom, thank you. Comments, as always, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, or your night, or whatever it may be. And I will see you again next time. Bye bye